Hello there, I'm Eric, and welcome back to Game Domain. Today, we're gonna talk about another game you need to own in your collection. Now, this one isn't for everyone. It takes a special kind of gamer to get into this, but for those that are into MMOs and grinding done right, this game is definitely for you. That's right, we're talking about Monster Hunter World. Now, as you can guess, this game is about monster hunting. Similar to Evolve, the goal of this game is to get the monster. The main storyline for this game involves hunting down each of the unique monsters. You must be on your toes and have your group ready. Let's go on an expedition and I'll tell you why you need this game. Whether you go solo, play with friends, or use the in-game matchmaking, there is a playstyle for all. Featuring 16 different weapon types, this game has a weapon for everyone. There's bows, two-handed swords, an axe that turns into a a gun and even a giant horn. Building your characters is for looks, but the weapons are where you really customize your game. You can play with any of the weapons at the start. The game actually encourages you to try each of the weapons in a specific area so you can get used to them and see which one fits you best. From there, you begin the hunt. With each monster, they all have their own loot. You use the pieces of the monster to make your weapons, armor, and upgrade your character. The monsters are stunning. These creatures boast their own abilities, talents, and even biome. There are no monsters that are alike. Each is individual and takes its own strategy to knock it down. So read up on each to learn their weaknesses, their strengths, and their attacks. Then dig your heels in and get ready to fight. These monsters take time to knock down. You're given 50 minutes for the hunts, and often you need every second of that 50 minutes. These monsters fight in stages. Once you do so much damage, the monster takes off and you must hunt it down to continue the fight. You can track them using your guide, fireflies, footprints, feathers, and muckus. Ugh. The environment holds traps that can help you if you lure the monster into a pit or under a boulder. These giving you a tactical advantage. These battles are long drawn out and you have to really commit to the fight. But once you take down that dragon, defeat that Anajath, or capture that Jagaris, you feel a huge sense of accomplishment. Once you complete the hunt, you use the pieces of the monster to build and upgrade your gear. Farming is needed as it often takes multiple kills of the same monster to earn enough of the materials to allow you to progress down the weapon trees. For those that don't like to grind it out, then this is probably not for you. You'll have to defeat the same monster in different scenarios multiple times in order to keep going. Though the battles are different each time and guaranteed unique, it is still a grind which isn't for everyone. As you progress and grind it out, you'll meet the harder monsters with different abilities. The premise is to defeat a monster, make better gear, go after a bigger monster, rinse, and repeat. Each monster is different and a work of art. They all have their own individual features to them. So though you're fighting one of them more than once, they're very different from one another at the same time. Now that you've mastered your weapon, your gear, and fought some monsters, you can continue the good fight. You have the option to free roam in the worlds. There are five completely different maps with their own monsters, wildlife, traps. You could choose the free roam, also called expedition, or you can answer the call to aid other players. There are lobbies to just join on other players and give aid. You could battle monsters in an arena as well and, and do it with challenging limitations to try your skills. With many of the monsters, a team approach is best. The game offers matchmaking services for those that play alone. You can also attempt to play alone and fire an SOS flare for other players to come help if you find yourself in need. The community on this game is always willing to step in and lend a hand. By joining in on an SOS flare, the players get the rewards as well. With all of these unique features, it is no wonder why gamers love it. Monster Hunter is getting ready to launch its next expansion with new monsters, new maps, and new weapons to choose from. It will be interesting to see where they go from here. So grab your gear and let's go hunting. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe and join our Discord where you can talk with other game domain viewers and suggest videos. My name is Eric. Have a great day.